My name is Tech Sergeant Jacqueline Haro with the 23rd Maintenance Group, specifically the Maintenance Operations Flight. I'm also the local AFSA Chapter Secretary. On September 14th, 2013, we held our inaugural POW MIA uh, Remembrance Poker Run with all proceeds going to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project. That morning we had about 108 riders show up to register and ride in this event and they purchased their cards at the starting point which was Cuz's on Bemis and they left there and hit all four of the stops that were on our route to include the VFW in Nashville, Georgia, Mud Creek in Lanier County, Capers Bar and Bistro in Douglas, Georgia and they also came back to Cuz's for the final card draw and some raffle uh, items that we did. We were able to raise $2,354 to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project. So all in all, it was a great success. September is dedicated to the POWs and the MIAs and um, there's multiple ceremonies and remembrance things that are done during this month and it was brought to our attention to maybe do a poker run because not many of the organizations here on base had ever done one. And this being the first big event this AFSA chapter has done, and we really wanted it to be a huge success. Our AFSA Executive Council talked about some different charities that we could support with this event. And we knew that we wanted 100% of the proceeds to go to whatever this charity was, and the Wounded Warrior Project just seemed to be something that, given us as a combat base, we have a lot of people in active combat when they're going overseas and they do come back with physical and mental scars so we wanted something that could possibly go to benefit one of those members that comes back and are in need of help for themselves as well as their family and the Wounded Warrior Project filled all those billets for us. So in the beginning the the riders register and they get a a blank card and it basically it has a, an empty poker hand on it and at each stop they go and pull a card and that card is filled in on their sheet. So if at stop one they pull a two of hearts, that goes on their stop one for that hand. And each stop, so on and so forth, goes the same way until they get to the last one which was Cuz's and they pull their fifth. And all the cards are tallied up and the, the person with the best hand and the person with the worst hand walked away with something. But to the luck of us and the Wounded Warrior Project, um, they gave us back half of the winnings to put back in the pot. This will definitely be every September and we may even do another one around December, maybe around Christmas time, but more to come on, on that.